So that was the footage of this morning glory before it got all um, lanky and eaten by the caterpillars. But on the side it's looking amazing. So this is the neighbor's side. And on this side it um, was looking good and now it's just kind of looking good on the tips because that's what they do. They start growing on the tips and grow more blooms. Um, it has covered the clematis, but the clematis should be fine. I like how there's a clematis in spring and then it's covered with morning glories later because the clematis sort of stops blooming. And then the hibiscus is getting bigger, it's gonna bloom soon. It hasn't wilted, I planted it um, kind of late, but it's fine. The pots are doing fine. I cut back the petunias, um, and they're gonna bloom back again. Same with that pot there. I cut everything back. Um, hibiscus is getting big right there, and the hydrangea is looking nice. And then the petunias, I didn't have to cut back here much, um, but I did cut back this petunia here because uh, it was kind of getting stuck to the cactus. And here's this ground cover, this like ice plant ground cover. It's getting big. And the balloon flower is starting to finish blooming, but it, um, it usually stops earlier, but I started deadheading it, so it bloomed for a long time. And looks so nice next to this yellow daily. It was lots of yellow, lots of blue, and then the white petunias, but now the bloom flower is done. Um, all the phlox is blooming, except for the white. So I have the Laura phlox here. And the comb flower is looking really awesome. And this phlox and another flower. And then I have some annuals that reseeded, calendula and snapdragon. Stately. And the sedum is about to bloom. And the phlox is about to bloom. There's one. Um, that right there is a gladiolus. They're not supposed to come back, but this one always comes back every year. Another flux. And the daisies look um, pretty good. There were so many blooms, but I had to cut them all back because they were dying. And they put out a few more blooms. And that's a rose. So the gladiolus is getting really, really tall. It's like five feet, five and a half feet. It's the tallest thing in the garden. The tip is right here. And that big bush is the hibiscus. The neighbor's hibiscus is actually blooming right there. It always blooms earlier, but um, then mine stays in bloom later because I guess the sun hits theirs first in the season. And then this circle garden is the same. The petunias here are doing really well because there's so much sun.
and we have some changes to the greenhouse. We added glass so that the tools don't get wet when I water, and this is from the bathroom that we did. This is like the old um, kind of a mirrored cabinet. Took out the mirrors and now it's shelves. It's uh, shelving, and um, also I popped a bunch of cuttings in one pot here. So I made like a mini cactus and succulent garden. So those are the changes here to the greenhouse. And now we're gonna go to the back. So we also did the patio. That's another change. And I don't know if I got this, still be in bloom, but it's almost done. And the bee bomb. And the annuals back here are growing. I caught a lot of stuff back, so it's really empty here because I was moving some stuff. I moved a lot of stuff here, and then I moved this pasta here because the colors look good together. And then we have the bee bomb. I find that this variety of bee bomb attracts bees the most. I haven't seen many bees on the red and hot pink. It's especially on this light pink variety. So I do have some footage I took earlier when they were more fresh. But now um, the blooms are starting to look a little ratty, but the bees are still all over them. So. And this does fine in the shade. It droops a little bit, but it's fine. And it's very tall. It's like four and a half feet. So. The oxalis is doing well. It will need a new pot. But been here for a while. And then the other one that I thought died. Good thing I planted it in the soil because it did come back. Um, it's doing fine. It's just it kind of stopped blooming a little bit. Okay, and that's about it for the August garden. Pretty much the same stuff as in bloom, but also the phlox has been added this month. And next month, probably the mums will be blooming. So, stay tuned. <laughs> 